Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And in today's episode, we're on part five of the extensive beginner's guide. Now, I've already done four parts of the beginner's guide, which was about the game, um, picking up your first mission, um, bunkers and prison, and then fighting. So this today's one is going to be more going now into you already know the game and you've been playing the game for a while so we um, are going to be advancing on different topics so we hope you like this video guys if you do like this video don't forget to take that pointer and tickle the like button it really does help us out and don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them also if you start new to star citizen you can use the code dropping down now and um, once you create an account with RSI, that will bump me up in them rankings and give you 5,000 credits as well when you start the game. So yeah, don't forget also to check out the description for links to Discord and other things like the organisation and stuff that we've got going and meet people that you can play with in game and um, just a, a fun community. So yeah, so we hope you like this guys and uh, we'll see you at the verse. So what I'm going to do today, to I'm going to go more into uh, more... Um, advanced top topics now so the beginner's guide obviously gets you your starting how to start the game how to do your first mission bunkers and prison and fighting so what we're going to move on to the next couple of topics is going to be cargo running mining with a ship and mining by hand so today we're going to do cargo running it doesn't matter which order these are done in but there's like three elements of the game itself so what we're going to do is we're going to go into cargo running I'm going to explain cargo running and how we make money in cargo running, basically. Hi, good to have you back. So what I'm gonna to do today, Hi. I'm gonna look good at to have you back. what ships are available to rent. So we've got the Titan. Let's have a look what we've got. So we've got the Titan, we've got the Arrow, the Nox, the Mustang Gamma, Mustang Alpha, the Drake Dragonfly, the Origin, uh, the Aurora and the Andromeda. So the Andromeda is going to be a big ship for cargo running. All these other ones are not going to be really for cargo running. The Titan only has about eight cargo. Um, that doesn't have any cargo. No cargo. No cargo. Oh, six cargo on one of these. Um, or three cargo it might be. No cargo because it's more of a racer ship type thing. Um, no cargo on that, or two cargo, it might be. Um, and then the RSI. So the Andromeda is only be the, the only one, really, that we could get cargo from. So I've only got 229,000, and it's going to cost 70,000 to, 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 to rent the Andromeda. And this will have... Um, it's, it's, it's a freight and gunship. So this is going to have a bit more cargo space in it so you could rent this ship if you've got enough money because you've been doing the monk missions and stuff like that you can rent this ship and the cargo on this one is let me have a quick look so it's got 96 cargo the Andromeda so that works out um, a decent what's it called so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about I'm going to rent this this Andromeda so you could do the same. You can go and rent this Andromeda, which is going to give you some um, a ship to do some stuff with if you want to do cargo running uh, with decent profit. Now, there's different types of cargo running you can do. There's normal cargo running with normal um, stock, which doesn't yield a lot of profit. And then there's cargo running vice, which um, yields good profit, but is more dangerous. And, and, and you're going to put in more of your funds up front. Now the good thing with cargo running is you can earn some good money from it. The bad things about cargo running is you're gonna get targeted by pirates and the shipping lanes. You're gonna to have to pay up front for the cargo yourself so that you're, you're vulnerable then to pirates attacking you, someone taking your loot, especially with 318, your, your loot can be taken or your cargo can be taken. And um, also crashes. If you crash, you, you can lose that cargo basically and you could lose all the money you put up front. They don't do any missions for cargo running um, it's best, so it's all basically off your own back. You have to um, put the money up front and then get the profits once you sell it. So my advice is, is in cargo running is always try and take somebody along with you or 
ask somebody in chat, go to chat and ask somebody, does someone want to help me with the cargo running because I um, want to um, have some protection or whatever. So you just ask them in chat, can somebody help me or whatever. And so that's that's an option. But I'm going to obviously just go and do it by myself today just to show you a bit about the cargo running. So let's have a quick look. I'm going to just quickly get the ship out so we've got it. Let's see if we can cancel these as well. Can we cancel it? No. Let's go to this one. To the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. So now that I've rented that Adromeda, it should be here. There we are. So it's it's here now. We can take it. We've got 23 hours on it. Vehicle selected. Stand so I'm going to select this one. New visitors now, like I said, this is even though it's a beginner's guide, this is going more venturing into the more advanced side of things. Uh, you want to progress from doing. You want to progress from doing the missions that you've done and 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 you're earning money and you want to now start earning more money and, and delve more deeper. So we're going to go down to to the to the hangar now, hangar nine, I think it was. Yeah. This ship is a big ship, so it's going to be harder for you um, harder for you to to handle if you've just come from something like an Aurora. So I'm going to show you the different types of loot and and what we'll be looking at. There we are. So there's the Andromeda. You can see it's a bigger ship. You've got a little snub fighter in the bottom here as well that you can use. Um, take out and, and fight if you need to fight or if you've got somebody helping, they can they can come along and, and fight with that. Then you've got obviously your big guns on here because it is a big ship. And then you've got your cargo bay over here, which will come down. And that's where your cargo will go. And then you've got your lift here. So I'm going to get on this. Show you quickly around the ca the thing, and then we'll talk about the cargo itself. So I'm going to turn on the lights quickly, and then we can we can talk them. All I've got to do to do that is just turn the power on, basically. Welcome to Space so you've got a turret down here, and a turret up here, and then you've got the, the snub fighter in the back. So you've got four people you can have, four crew, and so two on the turrets, two dri one driving, and then someone in the snub if they need it plenty of missiles so it's armed to the teeth this thing so definitely worth taking somebody along with you so you've got your cargo down here which is basically will fill up all of this section here so this is your cargo grid here it's 96 cargo or 90 odd cargo there and then at the, at the back you have the snub fighter here and so that's where you would get in your snub fighter if you need to and then this is just component stuff here so 96 cargo, I've got a Freelancer Max, which is where I do my cargo running in, and that has a cargo of um, 120. But I was running the the um, Pulé, and that only had 64 cargo, and I did a lot of running with 64 units of cargo. I made quite a lot of money. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the different cargo types here. So we have the Vice, and we have the normal cargo. Now Vice will be things like Widow, Slam, Etam, Neon, uh, and a Toxin. And they can all be bought at outposts and sold at scrapyards, and you can earn quite a lot of profit. Like but something like the ship I've got here, you could probably earn about 200,000 every run if you can fill the ship up and get, um, and get there safely and sell it. But because it's vice it, and it has a lot of exp um, expense to it, you, to, to fill this ship would probably cost close to 700,000, 800,000 maybe, probably even close to a million uh, to fill the ship. And if you lose that, you lose it, it's gone, basically. Or if you get jacked and someone takes it, like the pirates and that, you're gonna lose it. So that's why it's always good to have somebody with you, especially with 318, the, the, the way it's changed now in 318 for cargo running, you've got to have someone with you. And so that's that. You, you also get normal cargo. And normal cargo, you can pick a lot of it up quite cheap, but, um, the profit on it is not as good. So say something like Slam, which is one of the most profitable. Slam, which is a vice, you can probably earn about 40 credits 
per CSCU. Um, and each unit, you, each unit you buy has 100 SCU in it, uh, CSCU in it. So you're talking 40 times 100 per, per SCU. So that's four grand. So 40 times 100, yeah, four grand. And that four grand is nine, times 96 in this ship. So four grand times 96 is basically going to be a profit on this ship. So just then that's just slam. But you won't be able to, you know, you, you might be able to get all that slam, but you probably won't. Um, but with 96, you could get something like medical supplies, which is around four profit. Um, and so you imagine that's four times 100, so that's 400 of, um, yeah, 400. And then 400 times 96, basically, is what your profit would be for something like medical supplies. But medical supplies, uh, Laranai, um, diamonds and stuff like that, you have to look at um, SC Trade Tools for the profit margin, and I'll do that now and go through these with you. So here's SC Trade Tools. I'll put the link in the description, SC Trade Tools here. And so what you've got here, you've got the trading routes and the different commodities that you can, or cargo you can sell, and then um, different things about um, things in the, in the verse with mining and stuff like that and salvage. So what I tend to do is I tend to go to trade routes here and then I'll pick out my ship. So say we picked out the Andromeda. Um, it shows it. Andromeda. No, it's an RSI, RSI. No. And it's an Andromeda, not Andromeda. Andromeda. There we are. Constellation at RSI. And then you'll put in here what you want to invest. So that's a million, basically, I've put in there. And then you've got profit over time which is um, travel times vary with quantum drive and player skill, the values display estimate. So that's over time, and then that's pure profit, what your pure profit is. And then you've got whether you want stops or whether you want to wait, allow wait times, because some places you can only sell um, like 10 or 5 or 2, and then you have to wait, so you can click that if you want to allow late, wait times. And then you've got show stock details as well, which you can um, sort out and do different, different um, stocks. And then you can try different avoid selections or only selections stuff like that. I tend to leave all them as they are. And then I just hit submit. And so there we go. So what happens is it will come up with different um, scenarios for you, uh, for, for, for buying and selling. So what it's saying with this, with the Andromeda and 1 million, they're saying buy 96 um, um, Altrucia toxin for, for half a million. And then you're going to go at, at Jump Town. And then you're going to go over to Brio's Breakers Yard, and you're going to sell all that at Brio's Breakers Yard for 540. So basically, Jump Town is, is a hidden location. I'll put a, a thing up the top here now for that, for, for Brio's. And um, one second. I'll put a link in the top here for, for Jump Town, how to get to the different um, the, like drug dens. So what they're saying is you're going to make about 132 thousand profit um and it's that much basically fourteen thousand per minute because it's going to take eight minutes to do it once you get to to brio's and you fill up oh sorry sorry jump down and fill up then you can go over to brio's so that's basically what they're saying and then you've got other things like you can go to bez deck um fill up with laranite for two hundred forty thousand, and sell it for 297 and you'll make fifty-seven thousand. so this is what the trade tools is but then you can click on these things as well. You can you can click on the name and and have a look at the what they sell at that place and what they'll buy at that place. And so you can see there they sell slam, they sell widow, and they sell atrocia toxin. And the, you, you can buy twenty widow, twenty slam, and a hundred um, atrocia toxin. And then this is what they'll buy here at this place as well. So medical supplies. So you could stock up on 50 medical supplies, come here, buy some of the Trucia toxin, and then, and then go and sell that over at Brio's or something like that. So, but it just takes a little bit of time to get into Jump Town. You've got to follow the directions because it's not on your map. So the other thing you can do as well is you can actually click on the thing here, the commodity, and it'll tell you where, they, where, they, where that is sold and where it's bought by and how much basically. So um, it's bought, it's sold for 4,250 per unit and it's sold for 5,700. So you're making 1,500 profit per 
unit uh, per 100, basically. So about 15 profit per um, CSCU. Because uh, there's 100 SC, uh, CSCU per, un, per SCU. And so basically, you've got here the inventory. So this place here, uh, yellow, will have a max stock of 40 CSCU and it will replenish at one per minute. So every minute you can sell another one, basically. And so Samsung's and Sums, you can sell 250 at maximum, um, which is a lot. Um, and then that replenishes at 16 a minute. So that's what that's how you read this basically. So that's um trade tools. And if we go over to something like um uh, medical supplies, you can find it on here. Medical supplies, and then hit submit. It shows all the places that sell it and then all the places that buy it. So we can buy uh one unit for um one 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 thousand five hundred and seventy five and we can sell it for one thousand nine hundred and thirty seven so we we'll, we'll make four um forty or, or four hundred or just under four hundred three hundred and three hundred and and sixty ish or something like that profit per s c s uh per per s c u so if you've got ninety six you're gonna make 96 times 300 and something, basically. That's going to be your profit. 96 times 34,000 profit, basically, you'll make on a full load with the Andromeda. So that's how you read um, SC Trade Tools. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit with that. And the link is in the description how to, to use this um, or how to get to this. So that shows you your profit margins of what you'll be getting. So while we've got, so let's get into this now. So one thing to look for in Star Citizen is the commodities list. So up at the top here, you'll have a thing that comes up that says commodity price list updated. And if you go to your Morbi glass here and then down into your the journal down at the bottom here. So I've got 158,000. Go down to my journal. And down here somewhere you'll see commodity price alerts here. And what we're looking at here is we're going to look at um, any overstock and understock. So Distilled spirits here. We've got some overstock at this place and and this place, and and understock at these places here. So we will be able to buy the, that here and sell it here. Now you're not going to get massive amounts of profit. You're only going to get 1.3, uh, 1.2 profit. So 1.2. Let me show you this. So 1.2 profit. 1.2 times 100 times 96 so you're only looking at 11 grand profit on that so this is what you've got to look at um uh, of earning your money and this one obviously 120 to 56 only 0.3 so these bigger ships like the a2s and the, the the caterpillars that have got hundreds of units of cargo space will will be worth doing these things sometimes medical um, stock will appear here for you to get so and that can be a good one as well so what i'm going to do is even though there's no understock and overstock i'm actually going to go and try and get some medical supplies and then sell them and then i'll show you the vice as well so then you can see the, the difference the vice is going to be more um lucrative for you if you can get it but it's also more dangerous so let's go into this so looking at the sc trade tools you can click on the commodity itself and then find out where who sells it who and who buys it so let me quickly do that and we'll find a buyer a seller so um sc trade tools So I've got down to medical supplies. Let's submit. And we can see who sells it. So we're in Crusader at the moment. So we can get it from um, Sailing, Hicks and Deakin's Research Post on Yellow. So those are the two places near me. 
So I'm going to go to Hicks or Deakins and then from there um, buy the stock and then come and sell it over at the space station port or LaSalle. So let me do that. Uh, if I can find Hicks. There's Hicks there. So I'm going to set that route once I get into my sink. So this is going to be a cargo run of normal cargo. I've rented a ship. I've got 150,000. That's all I've got, so I can only buy whatever stock is available for that much. And that's it, basically. Requesting takeoff. Requesting clearance. Stand by. You are clear to launch. Takeoff. Retract landing gear. Retracting landing gear. Now, because we're in a bigger ship, this is going to be a bit more harder to handle. And like I said, it'd be better if you've got other people with you as well in this ship uh, to help you out. So it looks like it's stuck. I've got to get out to sea. So there's a bug sometimes where you can't, well, with my pad Thank anyway, you. where I, it won't let me turn. Again. So I have to get out the seat and then get back in it. And then that tends to sort it out. Okay, let's go forward. Set full speed. Having a bigger ship, you're gonna get targeted more because people know you're on a on, on a cargo run, so you're gonna be you're gonna more chance that people are gonna be coming for you. So what I'm gonna do is actually I'm not gonna to go to Hicks. I'm gonna cancel that, and we're gonna go for a Laranite instead. So let's do that. So let's cancel that, clear that route, and we're gonna go and get Laranite instead. Hopefully we can get enough. So we'll go to. Where are we? Tram and Mayors. Tram and Mayors, basically, on sailing. See if we can find it on here. Tram and Mayors. There it is. Let's select that route. And we'll go and get some Laranite, which is one of the popular ones. So, might not be as, what's it called, but it's one of the popular ones, so we may struggle to fill. But the, the purpose of this video is to introduce you to into cargo running. Now another good ship for cargo running is the Nomad. The Nomad has 24 cargo and it's really good for for, um, for doing a lot of the Vice stuff. You can earn around 70 grand per run on Vice and because it's only 24, um, it's quite easy to do. You know, it's quite easy to fill it. So I'm gonna have to jump out of jump out of that. The planet's blocking it. So let's see if I can jump away from that first. We are to iron four. So it looks like there's an enemy nearby. He locked me, but it was too late, I'm gone. So straight away, because I'm in this bigger ship, cargo running, straight away I've got somebody on my tail. Power shields. Maximizing shields. Big shit takes longer to do anything on it. So we're going to look 
for that place now. Then um, the tram mayors. Let's see what we can get there. The tram mayors will be an outpost and they won't be in an armistice zone. I don't think. Maybe, but we'll see. Um, when you're not in an armistice zone and you're gonna, you've got more risk than of, of actually being targeted uh, and killed. Whereas when you're in an armistice zone, they can't shoot, they can't shoot you. here so if I press V so I don't actually target them I can then I can then scan these Remember when you're coming into a moon, be careful, you don't overshoot it, especially with these bigger ships like this. Deploy landing gear. Deploying landing gear. So once I get into about 10,000, I start bringing my speed down. Like that. So this is an outpost, it looks like. There's no landing pads and stuff nearby. Which means basically it's um, not in an armistice zone, so there's a high chance that you could end up getting killed. I see two ships above me here as well. And then there's a black here as well. Let's have a look at this black. So you can scan things by look, pressing V and then keeping all the mouse button. And you'll see it says scanning at the top and then on the right hand side, scan progress. And then you can see then everything about the ship as it comes up. And there's nothing, nobody on board or anything like that. But it looks empty. But it does look like there's been a battle here. Turn engines off. Powering down the system. So, one thing I'm going to talk to you about as well here. If you can, and you do a bunker mission beforehand and pick up a railgun, I would bring a railgun so that you can shoot at uh, ships if they start targeting you uh, from the ground with your railgun. But as you see, I've got a, also got a, um, a gun on my back as well. So it looks like that's been in a fight. So you'll see I've got a gun on my back and also remember, make sure you bring ammo with you as well. So I've made sure I brought ammo with me for my gun. So I'll make sure I've got ammo. And then if I get it out, you'll see then if actually I need to reload that. I've got ammo and a gun. So that if someone does come down and start harassing me, I'm, um, I'm good. So it looks like someone's had a fight here with him and there's like a little rock truck in there wonder if there's anything inside that anything inside here no oh. ok 
take it. So it looks like, yeah, you've been in a, a bit of a fight here. Also remember, when you come off here, off your, if you, the ship like this, don't leave your ramp open or any of this stuff open. Always try and close it back up because people will get on it and then they'll basically take your ship. Like I just did there, I could have took that black there and that cut us black. But yeah, it looks like there's been a fight here. So. One thing to do is make sure you loot first to here before you buy your cargo because if you buy your cargo and you leave it, there's a chance that someone's going to be shooting you while you're out. While, you, while you're busy doing other stuff. So there's... He's been killed and looted. Well, shows how dangerous these places are. Let's take what we can from here. Get that and that and the tractor beam. I'll put the tractor beam there and I'll put the medical device there. Put that one there. Get the boots. And, that. and we'll take the drink as well. Guess we want them. Any point. Have a look around, nothing. Another white box. Take that because it can be worth some money. Put that in the local. Put that in again, that'll be worth some money in the local. And what you're going to do is put these on your ship as well to so sell at the space stations when you get there. There we are. Nothing else? No. Let's do this. What I'm going to do is have a quick check out the window. Oh, there's a box there as well. Quick check out the window. Seems all right. Oh, red box here. Didn't see that. Red boxes, you'll get more better loot from it. So I could take that because it'll be um, better for my suit. And then click on move all and it'll move all that stuff. And then we'll move that over to my ship in a bit. What we've got here, so we've got tractor beam. Be good to have. What I'll do is I'm going to put a tractor beam on this, swap it for that. Now, if I get that out and press J on it, you can um, customize these and put different tools on it. So this one's got a lifeguard thing on it. It's got, and you just click which one you want, basically of these so if you want the true the tractor beam you click that if you want the mining you click that you want the medical you click that and then there's also the other one you've got um salvage thing for doing the salvage so that's that i'm gonna have a quick check out the window make sure we're not got no one attacking us all seems fine okay so let's go see if we can buy the laranite here or whatever we can buy here so Constellation Andromeda, pick here. Um, so I'm going to go through this terminal with you as well. So these are the new terminals in 318. On this side is everything you've got, what's in demand, if you've got it in your ship, if there's no demand for what you've got in your ship and whatever you can't sell that's in your ship. And you've got your, you pick your ship there and then you can pick your cargo grid. So like you'll have different cargo grids, like on the Taurus, it's got a secret cargo area. So you can click that and select that if you want certain elements to go in your secret cargo area. Say you use running vice and you need it to be protected. It's not scannable, the secret cargo area on the Taurus and on the MSR. And you could put pick that in here and put that cargo in there. So what we got, and then over here is what they sell, whether they've got demand or not, and um, what what they what you can buy from them. So what they'll buy from you and what you buy from you can buy from them. So we want from here at Laranai and we've zoned this 15 units so we'll take them 15 units okay that accept that and then we'll take the titanium so let me have a quick look at the titanium on here and the diamonds so we'll go for the titanium and we'll be able to fill our cargo hole with that with the titanium if it lets us titanium 81 Buy that, and that's going to take all our money, I think, and 100% on on the um, the SCU there. So we've got a full um, a full cargo run now.
One thing to remember with this ship, with any ship, is you can't buy cargo when someone's on the ship. So if you do bring people along, they all have to get off the ship. So it's always good to maybe have someone in a different ship guarding as well. And the um, other thing to remember, things like the hull air, you have to um, unpack the spindle. You have to extend it. So here we are over at Crusader. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump down into um, the, the main city on Crusader, which is Orison. And we're going to head for the TDD, uh, the Trade Thank Development you. Department. And that's where we're going to go and sell this cargo. And the reason that we go down to the Trade Development Department is because we can sell all the cargo down there. A lot of the places will only allow you to sell specific amounts like 10 units, 5 units, and then you've got to wait an hour to be able to sell 60 units or 2 hours to be able to sell 60 units and it's just too much of a wait. So that's why we're going to head down into the TDD. So we're in the armistice zone here. And now we're out of it. So be careful going through this section. Once we start getting into it though and get closer we'll we'll um we'll be back into one. And there we are. 30 away. And what we're looking for when we come down into Orison is we're gonna be looking for the little spider sort of image. And that's it there. And you'll see there's like a circle there and then two circles next to each other. They might not be on this side, but they'll be around, you'll see them. And then it's like this little octopus slash spider type structure here. Right there. So let's go down into this. And now this is gonna take longer to sell it and, and to get there and sell all the stuff that we need to do, but it's the safest way of doing it. And just, that's what the aim of today is. It's not about how much profit we can make and all that. Um, it's more about uh, what, how you're doing it. How, we, how do you do cargo running? Whether you want to do safe cargo running or whether you want to be doing more um, risky cargo running with vice and selling them at outposts and places where there's no armistice zone. Because once you get into the armistice zone here like we are now, you're pretty much safe. But it's just taking longer. To, it's going to take longer to, for you to sell the prof, uh, the, for, the, for the for the cargo. Whereas with Vice, we can't bring Vice down into here. We'll get we, if we get scanned while bringing Vice into here, we'll um, get prime stat and, and shot. Because basically, you're running drugs, basically. And the shutters are shutting. Still shut this up, but our cargo will be safe from anyone trying to ram into us from outside. So let's go. So we don't have to put the ship away if we don't want, because it's pretty safe there now. But it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. What we're gonna do now is get on the transport and head off uh, to sell this at the, the place. So the next thing I'll do is I'll pick up some medical supplies and then, and then try and sell that off at Port Olisa again. And then what I'll do is I'll show you Vice the illegal cargo. So I'm not going to put the ship away. They may end up putting the ship away for us. They'll tell us in our helmet if they do. Shuttle station. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for the TDD, the Trade Development Department. And we can look service. here on the map. We and as we see down at the bottom here, Trade and Development Division. So we need Cloud View Center. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the thing the there, Cloudview Center. 
And then you've got two over there, which go to other places. And then what we'll do is here, wait for this. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. And then we sit here. Eight seconds, it's going. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle will be departing. One minute nineteen for the ride. The cloud view center is where basically the hospital is and the hubs are where you where you spawn. Ready. And so as you come into here, them are the hubs there, green circle, and the hospitals there, and then the trade development places there. We've got to go up here and across the bridge. So there's the habitation place where you spawn. That there, across there is the hospital. And then the Strauss building here is the TDD. I'm going to go into here, I'm going to go and sell these. So, let's pick our ship, which is the Freelance, not the Freelancer Max, <laughs> the Constellation Andromeda. And very high inventory, very high inventory we've got here. And it tells you everything that they buy off you here and what stock they've got. So you can see what people are selling, you know, if, if people are buying stuff. So they've got 48, uh, 448 Laranite. So somebody else is doing like runs on Laranite here. So let's do that. Let's sell our laminate for 71,000. Confirm that. Accept that. And then, um, whatever that was, I thought I did the laminate. 46,000 for the laminate. Confirm that. So we sold the titanium for 20, 70 odd, and the, and the laminate for 40 odd. And let's have a look at our money. So we've got 173,000. So we made. 15,432. So our next um, one is going to be, we're going to look again at the thing and we're going to have a look, see if there's any medical supplies in, in demand by going here. Commodity price alerts. Yeah, got processed food. So we've got some medical supplies here at Deakins Research. Outpost. So they've got overstock. And they're selling it at that much, so that's 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 a lot more expensive than normal. Normally, we can get it for fifteen something, so it's about fifty over the normal price. But we'll go and get that anyway, at Deakins, because there's an overstock, so we should be able to get the stock. So let's do that. So let's head over to get the ship again, and then we'll head over to Deakins. It's a nice ship, the Andromeda. These, these, um, connies. They look like spaceships. Auto drive is now off. I'm going to take the smaller pad of the two. You see, now we're in Armistice Zone, so we're all good. 
Let's take this smaller pad here. Whoa. While we're here, we can fuel up in that as well. So if we press F1 here and then go to the maintenance here, then we can basically 800 to refuel our thing and do any things we want to do. So that's that, and it'll tell you at the top that you don't take off because it's fueling the top here, and then you'll see this goes up here. And then you get a little beep. There we are. And that's that, basically. Turn engines off. Powering down Now, one thing you can do here is loot if you want to do extra loot in for extra thingy, uh, money. But the building we're looking for is the one with the big orange thing on it, which is this one here. You can see that there, the big orange thing. Now, it's different here. Because we're in an armistice zone, I'll buy the stock first because nobody can, they can pad ram us, but they can't shoot us. So, I'll buy the stock first just so that um, we don't end up losing it to somebody else. So let's go to the Constellation Andromeda. And we've got here stims, medical supplies, and, and that here. So what we're gonna do is buy as much as we can. 96, we can buy for 150 grand. So that's our cargo full. And we'll confirm that. So that's the thing about looking at the demand. By looking at the demand, we can see that um, we could see that basically we was going to be able to get stock here. If we look now, we should have 100% full on the constellation, which it is. So you can see there basically um, by by going to that, you could tell then basically where there's going to be stock. So let's do some looting while we're here. Have to take that. And the to the local. I might have stuff here already. So drop that into the local, drop that into the local. Always take drinks just in case you need them. Always good to have them. Gloves I take. I take all clothes and all these attachments. Because they'll be worth stuff. Some food. Clothes. Take some water. Once I've got enough waters and stuff, I don't take them on. But always loot as well if you want extra money. Two red boxes in here. So this helmet here is worth two and a half grand, 2,700. So straight away, like you want to be taking that to sell at the space ports. Getting some more armor and stuff here. Let's take all that again. Yeah, that's a local. Always remember you got a local. Move all of that. That's in here done. These terminals, you can get things like the Pisces and any ground vehicles. Smaller ships and ground vehicles. So that's two of these done. There's four of these per um, base like this that you can loot. And keep an eye out. There's that one in the air. Uh, two in the air, uh, it looks like. Just keep an eye out. And once I get to my ship, I'll set my point before I start moving. Just so I've got a better chance of getting out. If I do get attacked on the way out. Look around, no boxes around. None in here. Any on here and here? No, no, no. Here. No. No, no, no. No. Okay, let's start. 
So I've got one place to check, which is the Habs area, and then we can set off and head up to the space station. We're going to go to Port Olisar and sell this. So I'm sure I read Port Olisar is one of the places you can sell medical supplies. So we've been there, we've been there, so we haven't been here. Can hear a ship. I don't know where it is, but I can hear a ship. Now we could go back down to the planet again and sell this safely. Um, but but um, I'm going to go to the base first because I want to make sure that, that it is a place I can sell it. So again, in the local, we'll take that. And we'll take that. And we'll take that. And that's all we need from here. And we can sell them then at the base station. So just with, with the loot we've got, we probably can make like, close to 10,000 with just the loot on top of whatever else we make with the the, the um, cargo. So there's that one in there. I can't see where the other one's gone. It was two. There he is over there. Landed. So I'll check him out in a minute. You gotta be careful that nobody's hanging around your legs here. Because they might hang around your legs and try and sneak on. They can't shoot me in here because we're in an analysis zone, but they might hang around and try and shoot you. Uh, get on your sneak on your ship and, and what's it called? Then shoot you when you come out of the armistice zone. So always be careful getting back on your ship. Okay. So first thing we've got to do here is um transfer all that stuff from the local here, which is what's in um the, the the space, uh, the mining area, and we're going to move all of that across into our vehicle. And then when we get back to the space station, we'll move all that back over from the, from the um, space station. Then, so again, we've got full cargo. It's time with medical supplies, and now we're going to um, go to the space station and sell this. If we can't sell it at the space station, we'll go back down to the planet again. Um, so first, I'm going to do is I'm going to set my location. Uh, what all the sound we want? What all the sound? Have to move it around, maybe. You know, catch where it is. And there's somewhere. There it is. Well, well let me go now. Set route to there. We'll just go to Crusader and then from Crusader we'll jump to Portal Assar. Oh, is it gonna let me? Yeah, there we are. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press V on here and I'm gonna check this. Turn engines on. Starting bridge flight protocols. All systems operation. I'm going to check this thing here. Oh. This ship here. I think it's a ship. Maybe not. Oh, see, there's a buccaneer there waiting above us. So there is a couple here waiting that we've got to watch out for. So we've got. Buccaneer here waiting. But it's not showing anybody on board. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go out of that mode and we're going to put into quantum mode. Let the quantum spool up before we come out of our armor system. And then we're going to head up to... See, it looks like... Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that because I think that might think I'm on the other side of the planet. Clear that and then go back again and do the same. 
because I've got this cargo on now, so, uh, there's a chance that people will try and get me. So it's saying OM4. So let's go. So all I've got to do is wait for this to go blue. Blue now this. There we are. Once it goes blue, we can get to it then. So now with 318 out, we've got to be careful of what we're doing, like when we, we're getting cargo. Everybody could be a pirate. Now we're just going to land and then go and sell this. And then from there we can show you vice. So I'm in an armistice zone now, so I can request the what's called request landing. Deploy landing gear. Deploying landing gear. Looks like we're on nine. Now, if you're worried about landing, especially like when you're doing the mine and you've got Laranite in your, or Containium, should I say, in your cargo, if you hover over the pad and keep hold of N, it will auto land for you so that you don't end up being too heavy on it. So all you just got to do is keep hold of N when you're in that zone and it'll just auto land for you like it's doing for me now. And it'll do it slowly so you don't end up smashing down and um, blowing up your ship or damaging the quantum. Quantanium, should I say. And there we go. Turn engines off. Thank you. And please visit again. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. So now we're vulnerable from people coming along and just ramming us. So we'll get in, get the ship put away, and then sell the, the cargo. Whoa. What the hell? My ship is floating away. Why is my ship floating away? What's going on here? No, it's doing that. Thank you, and please visit again. So I've got to come out of this now because. I'm going to get a violation because my ship started floating off. So they're going to assign me a landing bay, which is going to be different now. Probably this one, yeah. Number 10. Not too sure what happened there, but there we are. That's the way it is. Turn engines off. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what happened now. We'll see. Right, 
so yeah, like I said, Pat Ramming is going to be the one we've got to be worried about. Why does my car go out like that? Definitely don't want my car go out. So what you can end up doing, you see, is if I um, bring out that, the tractor beam, I could um, zoom in and tractor this like that and bring it towards myself. So that's how you end up um, moving cargo around if you need to move cargo around and stealing cargo and all that stuff. But obviously I don't want to do that. I want to put the ship away. I don't want to be messing around with that. So I want to put that away. God knows why it did that. And definitely, see again, I left that open. Definitely don't want to be doing that. Someone will take it, go and sell on my cargo. So there's a lot to consider when you're doing cargo running. It's not, it's not just an easy thing to do. It's a bit more skilled than box running, like just doing box running, and uh, but not as skilled as doing uh, mining. Mining is more skilled. So we go. Let's just see if we can sell it before putting our thing away. If it takes too long, then we'll put it away. Choose the constellation. And there we are. So we've got medical supplies and it is in demand, so we can sell it. And we can sell 29 of them here. So let's have a look how much they've got here. So they've already got this many of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell this, 29 here at 1.8. I think we bought it for 1.6, so we're making two profit or whatever. I'm gonna put the ship away and then I'm gonna wait and just see Welcome how fast it comes up for system. selling it. So let's do that, let's store the ship. Cool. So let's have a quick look on um, the um, SC Trade Tools and I'm going to look for medical supplies on SC Trade Tools and the refresh rate on here is so bought by Admin. Just having a quick look. So this refreshes at, at less than one SCU a minute. So it's going to take a bit of time to sell this here because somebody else has already um, sold theirs. So what we do is we keep an eye on this stock here. At the, um, oh, you're the rooster envelope. 50K a unit, I've got a couple of those. I've got a couple of those. 50,000, nice. So you can see here all the stuff that you can buy and sell. 130 a unit of Dolvine. Depends what you can buy for though, doesn't it? Um, so medical supplies over down here. No demands. We've got five because they'll only have 500. But then the refresh rate is really, really low. So 
So basically, what you can do is you can wait around here, you can log off and then try again later on. Oh. Someone's... Someone's, um... Create here. I wonder if I could sell that somewhere else. Titanium. So I could put that on my ship, basically, and sell that if I wanted to. I'll put that there. So we've got that, the commodity shop there, and then also, like I said, you in Dumpers Depot here, you've got the commodity shop as well. And in here, they'll sell basically that recycled material for the um, when you go scrap salvaging. And then you've got these here. Oh, there's another box there, whatever that is. And then you've got this one here. So, say you select your ship here, and then you can sell whatever um, ores in that. So let's have a look where the medical supplies are. So again, we can only sell one. So it's just a matter of waiting, basically. But we have like 70 odd left, I think. We have 70 odd left. 66 left. And as you see, the price of it's going down, will go down because um, because it's very low, very a very high inventory, so the price of it's going to be a lot higher here because of the demand. So when there's a when there's a high demand of it, you'll buy it for less than you'll buy it for more than what you can normally buy it for if there's low demand. So by going to Deakins, we could get it at a lower price, but then we can then sell that here uh, at a high at a, a low price or go somewhere like back onto one of the um, the other places to sell it, like the in Orison. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down to Orison. We could have sold it all here if, if there would have been enough um, of a demand for it. But if it's doing one a minute, one a minute, it's gonna basically be an hour before we can sell the whole lot. And the one thing to remember, B9, and the other thing to remember is that stock there, that stock level is, that stock level is across all servers. So that's across all servers. So you, it doesn't matter if you was on a different server and that's, so even though somebody might not be here selling it and they might be on a different server, they might be on this space station on a different server. So we've got to go to nine, not there. Eight, nine over here. Eight, nine, nine. So it's probably better for us to go and sell it elsewhere now. And rather going down to the trade place, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to. Um, Maybe Brio's Breakers Yard or one of them places. If I can sell it down there, let's have a look. Shady Gillen Farms. So there's other places you can sell this as well. So Beautiful Harvest, Kudro. She been trade development, Norrison Admin, Jump Town. So you can sell it at Jump Town as well. Benson's Mining. So we've got the um, disposal orange. So let's have a look if they've got breakers, Brio's breakers yard in here. Can't see it in the list. The development admin, the orphanage. So I'm going to see where I'm going next. 
in development. Jump town. Not been said, been some mining. So it doesn't look like I can go down to that place to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Jump Town and and show you Vice basically. Now, actually, I could go to the orphanage. The orphanage is another place. I might go to the orphanage and show you Vice there. I should have got to jump. No, I'll go to the afternoon. Turn engines on. Starting brief flight protocols. So All what I'm gonna do is operational. I'm going to head over to the orphanage to sell this, just so you can see an outpost, um, selling it at an outpost. So it's going to take me a little time to get over there to the orphanage because it's over here in Artcourt in Lyria. But I can also pick up Vice here as well, so that's the other thing. I can pick up Vice here and then go and sell that. So let's do that, let's head over there and then go and sell this over at the orphanage. Take off. Just so you can see an outpost rather than selling it at the other place. So I'll change the plan, guys. I, I was looking at the trade tools and saw that I could only sell 10 units at, um, the, uh, at the orphanage. So the best thing for me to do here is to go and see if I can sell some over at the space station, which is Bajini Point over here. So I'm gonna go to Bajini Point, sell it, and then see what we can sell here. So just waiting for my... Um, Quantum to cool down, big ships, going to take ages. I'm going to be doing one of the videos I'm going to be doing is going to be about changing your drives and stuff like that so you can get different quantum drives and shields and stuff like that. And that'll be a video I'll do uh, later on. So let's go and sell these medical supplies at Bajini Point here. Now here at Bajini Point, or places like this, you have these places where you can request your landing and go in there, into that landing there. The other thing you can do as well is, if you see these landing pads here, you don't need to request landing for these ones. You can, you used to have to, but now you don't, for some reason you don't have to. So you can just come and land on these ones if you wanted to. But again, you're going to be vulnerable for people to ramming you. And if you do go onto one of these, just remember which one that you're on. As you go through the door, it'd be above the door. There we are. Turn engines off. So you can just land on these ones. Um, makes life easier than going having to find pads, uh, going in the, the docks and all that stuff. Like I said, just remember which one you're on. Uh, but you are vulnerable for pad ramming on this. Bring it back up. Like I said, above the door, it's you. so we're on pad four. Just remember when you're going back in the lift, go back to pad four. When I first started, I used to land on pads like this. And I used to always forget to put my helmet on. And the lift used to always kill you when you called it, so you'd have to stand back away from it. So let's go and do this. Go and sell this over at the 
admin players. I'll leave the ship on the pad. Which is risky, I know it is. I should put it away. If you're more if you are worried about it, then put it away. And what we're gonna do is go to the gallery because that's where the admin is. And then we're gonna go look for the admin building. You look for the big yellow um, building. It's upstairs. And there it is there. You see it's got admin there. And let's see what we can sell here. There might be loads in already here. Have a look, 66, so no demand. So again, we're not gonna be able to sell a couple, five. So it looks like there's already loads being sold around here. So this is the thing with space. Space cargo trucking is, oh, I can only sell 11 here. I thought it could sell 50 here. So we've still got 60 left. So let's go straight out to pad four. If you ever um, want to know which one it is, you can go to the terminals there and it'll tell you where it is. And make sure you've got your helmet on when you go into the pads because as soon as you step out of here, you'll choke if you haven't got one on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this at the place down on the planet. I should have just done that in the beginning. Ten engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. Retract landing gear. Retracting landing gear. Veto. Affirmative. So I need to go down the planet and sell this. So what we're looking for here is this this like weird looking it looks like a spaceship that's landed here and that's what we're aiming for that's the space ball and what i'll do is i'll put up a video in the top showing how to get to all the different space ports on the planets Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Latest travel information. Be sure to check the departure and arrival boards conveniently located throughout the spaceport. So let's put the ship away Welcome. because we don't want someone the ramming it. Vehicle retrieval system. Okay. Like that. Let's go. So through the transit, area 18 transit. I'm gonna get there. 13 seconds. I'm just gonna chill out, sit down. Strong winds can arrive. 
rise suddenly. So we are at 18. Business district area, whatever it's called. And what we're going to look for here is again is the trade development place. Which I think is uh, TDD. It was quicker just to have come down to a planet and done this. I know that now. But I tend to try different things anyway because I want to know myself. Like, it would have been good if there hadn't been someone hadn't sold all the stock already at the um, Port Olisar. But we'll sell it all here now anyway. So, and hopefully, we'll get one point, we'll get one nine for it. So I've got 60 units, we're going to get 1.9, so yeah, we're going to get a decent price for it. I'm going to sell it for 111. Accept that. Done. So we made off that 20,529. Okay, so... That's that now. So you've learned about cargo running itself and um, all that stuff. I could have also sold that stuff that's on my ship that I moved over. I should have done that. I'll actually move it over to the local here in a minute. And then I can sell that later on. And you learned about the, the um, commodities price list, keeping an eye on that commodities price list in the journal. Um, there and so you see there's no, no, no thingy for medical supplies now so the next thing to teach you is or to talk about is vice or more more illegal cargo so you can't sell the illegal cargo at these places you've got to go to more dangerous places where pirates will hang out and wait for you and what I'm going to do is we're going to go through the map here now so the Different vices you can get is Widow, uh, Slam, should I say? So Slam, which is the most profitable. Then Widow, which is the next profitable. Then Neon, uh, no, then Etam, sorry, which is the next profitable. Then Neon, which is the next profitable. And then um, Toxin, it's Ultra Toxin or something like that, but I always call it Toxin, uh, which is the least um, of them all um, for, for um, profit. So let me show you the places. So we start here at Art Corp. So down on Lyria here, you've got the orphanage here. So at the orphanage, you can buy, I think it's Neon and Etam or something like that, or Etam and Widow, one of them ones, or two of them ones there. And you can get around 50 cases each if, you, if, if it's full. And then you can sell them over at, here we come, to Walla. You can sell them at, South, um, not Walla. Where am I going? Oh, it is Walla. You can sell them at Samson's and Sons here on Walla. And it's like a scrapyard. But also on Walla, you can go to Arkmark uh, 48 and 50 something. There's the other one. Wherever it is. There's a 50 something somewhere. So you've got 48 and. I mean, 45, sorry, and 51, I think it is. 56. And there you can buy Larinite as well. And that Larinite can then be sold back over at Lyria, um, the orphanage. So you could pick up Larinite on your way and go back to the orphanage if you can do that run. Um, it depends on the stocks and the stock levels. Uh, but that could be a, an extra subsidy, like, so you, you're picking up and then dropping off, picking up and then dropping off. So the other place here on Lyria here is the Paradise Cove. Now that's hidden. Uh, and I'll put up a video on the top here showing you the different secret locations, the drug dens, where you can pick up some of this, this drug running stuff. So there's two places here, and the one drop off, which is on Walla. Then you've got, next, you have um, Crusader. So in Crusader, there's four places. So on sailing, you've got private property here. Um, then on Yella, you have uh, two places. You've got 
NT99XX, but don't get it mistaken with the other one. There's another NT99XX here, but it's got two ones after it. So you want to make sure it's that, that one there. And the other place on, on yellow is Jump Town. Again, that's hidden, so that'll be in that, that thing that came up earlier. And you would sell them um, over at Daymar at Brio's Breakers Yard. But also on Brio's Breakers Yard, you have um, Neon Waste Management. If I can find it. So Neon Waste Management, Neon Waste Management here. So that's another place for picking up some of this vice. And the last place, um, oh, so we've shown you sale in private property, the in yellow, there's two places on yellow, which is Jump Town and the NT99X, and then New and Waste Management on here. And you can sell all of that then over at um, Bios Breakers Yard, which is, again, another, like, scrapyard thing. And that's here on this, this, here. So that's that. And then the final place for this drug running stuff is at Mike Road Tip. Yeah. So there's uh, a few places on Microtech. So the main ones are on the planet here. And the places you're going to be looking for is Outpost 54 here. And the other one is, um, if I can find it, the Necropolis. So the Necropolis is the other one. The third place you can buy from on here is at, I think it's Utop. There's, um, at Utop, there's a place called Raven's Roost. Utop, I think it's called. Um, let me quickly check that, make sure it is Utop. Um, Raven's Roost. Um, Raven's Roost, that's it. Kalipe. So Raven's Roost is on Kalipe. There you are. So again, it's one of those hidden ones that you'll have to find on that. So the place you can sell this stuff at is over on Uterp, and this is called Devlin Scrap and Salvage. And that's where you can sell it there. So there's the, the, the three planet areas you can buy and sell this stuff from. Now, we're over at um, Art Corp. So we're going to go over to Lyria and see what we can pick up from Lyria Orphanage first. Now, like I said, we could go over to Walla first and pick up Laranite and then sell that over at... Um, I could do that, actually. Let me do that. So if I go to 45, Mining 45, you can also put loot at Mining 45 as well. Oh, 56, I think the other one is. So let me... Oh, I can't set it because I'm not in my ship. But let me try, go and get my ship and then... Which way do I go? So I was back that way. Went the wrong way. So I'm going to get my ship and I'm going to head over there to pick up Laranite first and then sell that over at the orphanage and pick up uh, whatever vice we can at the orphanage. Now, this is one of the least ones because there's only really the orphanage and Jump Town. Uh, not Jump Town, um, Paradise Cove. So there's only really the one place if you don't know how to get to Paradise Cove and Paradise Cove take a bit longer to get to than just a normal place. So this is one of the worst places for getting for this, these runs because there's only really one place to go. Plus a lot of people come over this way to do mining. So pirates hang around as well for the miners. So this is one of the worst places for doing it. But because we're over here, I'm going to show you over here anyway. One of the best places I've found is over at Crusader. There's four places to go there and... Um, they're all on moons, so it's that you know it makes it even better as well. And over at Microtech is quite windy where you're buying and selling from. It's really windy places, so it's, it's, it can be a struggle over there. But like I said, we're over at Art Corp, so we're going to go here. And we're going to pick up. I just want to show you basically picking up vice at an outpost, and you know just basically the profit you can earn from it. So I think we earned. You, you, whatever we earned on the first one and then I think we earned around 20 or something on the second one with the medical supplies so let's see what we can earn with Vice if we can get the stock that is Your vehicle has now been delivered to where we're going now 
doing the vice is is more dangerous now this is the dangerous one you're going to see less stock of you're going to see a lot less stock of this uh, it's going to be difficult to get the stock and you're going to have um, people trying to steal it from you it's the risk reward the more the risk the better the reward Request takeoff. Requesting clearance. Stand by. Takeoff. You are clear to launch. We try landing gear. We try to landing gear. VTOL. Landing gear. Landing gear. Wait. VTOL. So where we're going now is the mining place, so you'll be an armistice zone, but then when we go to the orphanage, that's not an armistice zone. And when you go to sell it at the breakage yard, again, it's not an armistice zone. So this is why this is the risky one now, especially being on my own. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my location to my next place straight away. So there's only one landing pad here, so, so all I can do is jump on this one landing pad. There's nothing I can do, like, not, you know, saving it for other people. There we are. Oh, bounce it down. Die roll. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engines off. So we're in an arms zone here, so we're all right. And you see the price commodities up late there, just come up. Let's have a quick look at that. It won't be anything to do with Vice, but we can always have a look. So it's always good to keep an eye on it, basically. I've got some medical supplies under stock here. Again, we can go to some loot in here. I think I've still got loads of loot on there. What we're going to do is going to get the, the stuff first. So we'll go to the orange building here. It says storage above it. Right, windy outside. Oh, I better didn't shut my thing, did I? Silly thing to do. Get out. Can't see if I left it open or not. So what I need to do is just have a quick scout around. Grab the flower night. Might not get loads here, depends if other people are doing this cargo running. Baronite, so very low inventory, it's 38. They've only got 38 here. So we'll buy all of that, 102,000. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look what else they sell there, or they'll buy there. I don't think there's anything else that they will buy. What buy the orphanage, and the orphanage buys. Any of the slots on the down now in tungsten. What? No, no, no. Stim, stim, no. So it doesn't, but they don't buy anything else. That's, that's there. So there's no point hanging around. Might as well just go. Now, I think I've left my thing open, so I'm just going to be watching out for that. I did. See, don't leave that open. Someone will take it. Now you could do some looting here again if you wanted to do looting. Uh, I'm not going to because it's not what the video is about. I'm just going to head over now to sell this Larry Knight.
and then pick up the vice and go and sell the vice. Now, I'm not expecting to pick up loads of ice, but because like people are doing these runs at the moment. So I forgot to set my thing, I should have done. So we're going over to Art Corp, Lyria, and then we're going to go over to the orphanage. Set our room. Now, this is in the mountains, not like many places to park. Another Andromeda as well. Someone must have watched this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press V and I'm going to scan him. So it doesn't look like there's anyone on there. So no one's on there. And there's no cargo, so... Oh, God. We're trapped landing here. Retracting landing here. I've got a gun on me just in case I need it. But uh, this is... Now nah, you see his dead body. A couple of dead bodies there, actually. Okay. Turn, turn engines off. Powering down systems. Yeah. So I've got a gun on me just in case I need it. And we'll go from there, basically. Keeping on the outside. You see their dead bodies. They've been jacked, basically. So we have a local now at these places, so I can take this stuff and drop it in the local. We never used to be able to do that before 318. He's already been had his stuff stolen. So that's bit that's empty. They basically died here. Nobody's inside because it would be red. But they could still be inside. They could brick me in, close it, and then quickly jump back in. So let's quickly loot. Let's move it all over to the local. A bit of stuff there then. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Let's sell our first bit of cargo, the Laranite. What we got? On them? Yes. Okay, so we're in this time. So I see Constellation. So I'm just looking at low inventory. So we've only got low, we've got low inventory here. But you can see basically what it is. So we're going to sell this. Laranite for 117. So we made on that, I'll come off that, we made on that um, 15,479. Now we um, buy the, the stuff. So this is Vice and we could pick the Andromeda. So five units of VTAM, SLAM and Toxin. So we're going to get basically 12 units all together and we don't touch waste. And then we'll go and sell that. Now, you normally can buy 50 um, here, but obviously other people are doing this, so we're only going to get five. And one thing to mention is that all stock is shared across all servers, so it doesn't matter what server you're on, whether it's Australian, Asian, Europe or whatever, stock is shared across all of them. And then we'll go for this. Confirm. Except. So we've got in we've got um can't see how many it is. 
um, 12 units. So that's basically half of um, a Nomad. Now what you can do is you can... Oh, look at that, I never noticed that before. No. Um, so I've got some stuff in the local if I need it. What you can do is wait around if you want to wait around and then just keep checking here. I used to do that, um, but it, it can be dangerous. And then basically you just you're just gonna you're just gonna have to you can wait for this to refill. But for me, I think it's better just to just leave and go and get your profit. So we've got 12 units, so we might make about oh, probably about 20, 30,000 from it. Just for these couple. So you imagine if it is, you know, full, you do do like somewhere around Crusade when you do fill this up, then you can really get some good profit. But I just wanted to show you basically vice and selling vice. So now what we're going to do is go to Brio's Breakers Yard or Sal Sal um, Thingy and Sons Salvage, Samson and Sons Salvage. And we're going to go and sell this and see how much we made. That body over there. That was gone. So we've only got 12 units, so it's not a lot. That's why sometimes it's good to do this in a small um, these runs in a smaller ship. So somebody is above us here. So they might die like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my route to um Walla. And uh, Samson Sons, uh, and then God knows what he was doing. <laughs> yeah. Turn my lights on. God knows what he was doing. I'm flying in like that. Dropped his box over there. God knows what he's got in there. Ah, let's go. Trust us. So here we are coming up to Samson and Sons once our quantum sorts out. We've only got a small bit of cargo, but you'll see what we get for it just for that couple. Well, if we got or whatever it is. And with the Laranite on top as well. So 
this is going to be one of the most dangerous places is because people know this is where you come to sell. So this will be the place where they'll hang around and wait for you. Retract landing gear. Retracting landing gear. Beat on. We've got something here. Two things. Three things. So our crew go there, so that means it's an Andromeda blown up or something. The Merlin there. It looks like this place has been smashed with dollar debris there. So much debris. So many boxes around as well. This place has been hammered. different from the last time I came here. A lot different. Saying that there is a lot of broken stuff here. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engines off. So let's go and sell what we've got first and then we'll go and see what all these boxes are around all these broken ones that have crashed. Let's get a quick look around just in case someone's around. And close. I hope someone's stealing my shit. Now let's go and find where we're going to sell this. Over here. So many broken ships around. There. And this is a kaboom. Let's go and sell this. And the dam. Boom. Try again. There we are, Constellation of Dromeda. And we'll go for the slam first. Sell that. Confirm. That's it. Then we'll go for the ETAM. Sell that. Confirm. Accept that. And then we'll go for the box in. Sell that. Sell that. Except. So there we are. That's that. So we made from that. Let me come out of here. We made from that. 23,828. So with the that, what we made the um we made from the Larinai 15479. And from the vice, 23828, the total was 39307. And the total cargo run tonight was 75,268. Four. That's one one. What we can do is we can take this over to my thing. Put that away. Does it say what it is on the box? Yeah, I can't see what it's I don't know what it what it means. But if I was to lower my thing here. Open the cargo up here. I can put that box onto my cargo and I 
and go and sell that basically, see what that is. If I drop that in there, I can go and see what that is and see if the rest of it is worth selling. Because I think that I think about five or six boxes. So what we got here, have a look, Constellation, Andromeda, once it comes up, it is, can't see what it is, is it a light, waste, so it's just waste, so we don't need that, that's cool, so there we are, so that's that, so that's um, basically cargo running for you, and what it entails, so the legal cargo, looking at the commodities list, looking at the, the vice, um, illegal cargo, and uh, yeah, so I wonder what this is. This the same cargo? Yeah. Someone's boxed that, basically. So basically if I do that, I should be able to see what they've got in it. Oh, all their stuff here. I can take all that and put all that in my locum. So I'll basically take that, I, and if I want, I can take this box here and have that box myself. So if I was to press 4, I could take this and have this this box um, on my ship and, and use it for storage if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, so that's cargo running for you guys, just so you, can, so you know it, and what it's about. And we made whatever it was we made oh, there's a ship coming in here now and um, yeah we don't want that to get rid of that so there's a ship coming in here now now we could go and pirate this guy, shoot him or try and shoot him or have a fight with him or whatever. As he comes in to try and sell his stuff, because he's going to have to go there to sell it. There he is there. So we're going to leave this video here, guys, and leave you with Schrodinger's victim. And um, will he die, will he not die, you'll never find out. And uh, we hope you like this video. If you did like this video, don't forget to take that punch and tickle that like button. And don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. And yeah, we'll see you guys out in the verse.